Hi everyone, my name is Giovanna Proença and today we're going to talk about normals, the exercise of week zero of CS5 introduction to databases with SQL. So in this project, we're going to work with querying parts of the database to get the data that we want. We're going to have 10 tasks to solve. And the database is about temperature in different proportions of the sea. So if we are in zero meters or if we are 10 meters uh, deep of the ocean until 500, I think, meters. And we will also also work with latitude and longitude to get different regions of the world. So this is this will be our uh, goal. In order to get the code, so the database with the data inside, you need to click in here, download the distribution code, click in this wget, put in your terminal, follow all these instructions, and once you complete the instructions, you're going to have a folder called normals with 10 files of SQL and one file for the database. If you want to open up the database, you can double click, click in open anyway, and it will open up a PHP file for you. If you're not able to do that, you can right click here in normals.db, open an integrated terminal terminal, like I am, I cannot open it up for some reason. So there is one way we can solve this. So open anyway, click in PHP Lite Admin, it will open up a new tab for you, where you can see the whole content of your database, the tables, the columns, and the name and the data. So we have a table called normals, where we have ID, latitude, longitude, zero meters, five meters, 10 meters, until uh, we have a lot of columns, until 5,500 meters down in the ocean, all right? There are some data that it's no because we can't uh, get the temperature in that areas, but there are other parts where we can get the temperature, okay? And the temperature is in Celsius, so <laughs> it's not Fahrenheit, and here we're using meters, not miles, okay? If you can open up the database as I did, you can right-click here to open the integrated terminal, and you can do SQLite 3 normals.db, that is the name of our, oops, normals, I write wrong, normals.db, that is the name of our database, and it will open up the SQLite terminal. If you want to see the structure of the terminal, so if you want to know all the columns we have, you can do dot schema, and this way it will display all the columns that we have, and also their type, so if it's an integer and the other ones are numeric. If you want to see the content, we can do a SQL query as we learned in the lecture, so select star, the star means we want to get everything from and the name of our table that is normals. Don't forget the semicolon. So if you click enter, it will display the whole content we have in our database. We have a lot of things in here. It's kind of hard to see, but this is one way you can try to see the data if you're not able to open up the database in another tab. All right, it's still loading all the data. I think we have a bunch of things in here, but that's fine. While it's loading, let's take a look at the first task. So every task you will need to solve in one particular file. So one.sql2.sql according to the task we will read in here. All right, so the first task is write a SQL query to find the normal ocean surface temperature in the Gulf of Maine of the coast of Massachusetts. To find this temperature, look at the data associated with 42.5 degrees of latitude and minus 69.5 degrees of longitude. And here they give us a ring to recall that you can find the normal ocean surface temperature in the zero meters column, which stands for the zero meters of depth. In here, the zero meters of depth mean where we can see the ocean, all right, in the shallow part. So this is our first task. We need to display the temperature at zero meters column for this particular latitude and this particular longitude. So let's try it out. This is still running, so I will interrupt because we have a lot of things to do. If I remember from the lecture, we're going to say select. Here we need to say the name of our table, so the, of our column. The name of our column is zero meters. So I'm going to put here zero M from normals. And we need to set a condition, so where we want to get, which temperature we want to get. Here they mentioned that we want to get the temperature where the latitude is 42.5 degrees. So here, where latitude is equal to 42.5 and longitude is equal to minus 69.5, minus 69.5. If we run this query here in SQL, it will tell us that they can't find this column 0M. And the reason why we can't find this column 0M is because we need to use double quotation mark as they teach in here. If we want to display the column, we need to use double quotation mark because our SQL command doesn't understand exactly that zero and M means the name of a column. So to fix that, I'm going to put a quotation mark in here and I'm going to try it out and we will see the temperature for 
0 meter, so 8.7 Celsius at this latitude and at this longitude. All right, let's go to the next one. So write a SQL query to find the normal temperature of the deepest sensor near to the Gulf of Maine at the same coordinate above. The deepest sensor records temperature at 225 meters of depth, so you can find this data in the 225 meters column. As we can see in here, they kind of give us all the instructions. We're gonna get this column here, 225 meters, at the latitude and longitude we used in the last exercise. So we're gonna run the same command, but instead of zero meters, it will be 225, okay? So if I run in here, now we're gonna get that at 225 meters uh, below the surface of the ocean, we have the temperature 7.5 Celsius, okay? So it's pretty cold out there. All right, let's go to the next one. So in the third SQL file, we're gonna choose a location of our own and write a SQL query to find the normal temperature at zero meters, 100 meters, and 200 meters. Here they are telling us that we can use Google Earth to find the coordinates of where we wanna go. I will just use the same coordinates they gave us for Gulf of Maine, but you can try it out the way that you want. Here it's very open Ended. You can select the coordinates where you are right now at your home and you can see if you find the temperature. Actually, it won't be even if you only if you live in the ocean, you can see the temperature. So you have to find out, for example, the ocean that is in the coast of your country or somewhere you like the most, you would like to visit. This is more open ended for you to try it out. Since I'm going to use the same latitude and longitude, I will put here the same coordinates and they want us to get the zero meters, 100 and 200. So to add multiple columns, we're going to put here in the select and we use comma to select the different columns we want. So 100 meters and 200 meters. Don't forget to put each of the column around a, its specific quotation mark. And remember, it must be double quotation mark. If you use single quotation mark, you won't be able to see. Okay, so let me clear here, run the command, and we can get the temperature for these different uh, parts of the ocean. And here it's interesting, right? At the surface, we have 8 degrees, 100 meters below the surface we have 5 degrees, uh, 5 Celsius, and 200 below we have a higher temperature than a, at 100. I would never imagine this would happen, but interesting. I don't know exactly how the ocean works at this particular part of the temperature, but it's nice to see. It's very interesting. Now let's go to the fourth one. So write a SQL query to find the lowest normal ocean surface temperature. As we already know, the surface temperature, it means the column zero meters, and the lowest we can find use Using an aggregate function. So if we take a look at the notes, they mention about multiple aggregate functions that we can use in the select command. So basically here we have count, average, mean, max, and sum. In our case, we want the lowest, so we can use the minimum function and it will find the minimum temperature and display for us in the screen. So how are we gonna do this? I'm gonna say select mean, that it's a function to get the minimum value between all the rows we have in our table for the column zero meters from and our table normals. Okay, so if I run in here, we will see that the minimum temperature is minus 1.8 Celsius. Minus 1.8 is like 1 Celsius below zero, so we are in, it's very cold in here. All right, so we found this minimum value. Now let's go to the fifth file. So write a SQL query to find the highest normal ocean surface temperature. And in this case, instead of using mean, we're gonna use the max aggregate function. So we're gonna do pretty much the same. So select max, the name of our column, that is 0m, from normals. And if we run in here, the maximum temperature at the surface is 30 degrees. So it's pretty hot out there. Okay, let's go to the next one. So write a SQL query to return all normal ocean temperatures at 50 meters of depth as well as their respective degrees of latitude and longitude within the Arabian Sea. Include latitude, longitude and temperature columns. For simplicity, assume that Arabian